Hello, everyone. Today's poem is "Zheng Feng, Qing Ren," a Zheng Wind from the Book of Songs. This poem is looks like a very simple poem, but it's with some of the specialty. The poems in the Book of Songs normally will have no background of the poem of the poet. Well, this poem is the only. Four poems that could be referenced、uh, in another classic book, *Chun Qiu Zuo Zhuan*. This poem, together with another three, *Wei Feng Wei Wind*, *Ah、uh, Shuo Ren*, *Wei Feng Zai Chi*, and *Qin Feng Huang Niao*. So these four poems are the only four poems. In the Book of Songs, that could be referenced with a history background、uh, in a very very ancient、uh, history book. The the book *Chun Qiu Zuo Zhuan* was written roughly two thousand five hundred years ago. So,、uh, basically, we believe this is the true story、uh, happened. So with this simple point, together with the history background, and let's see how we interpreted a classic poem without a history background, and then we look into the、uh, record in Chun Qiu Zuo Zhuan, and then we cross check the history background with the poem and see. How we interpret a classic poem. So with this very very simple poem, so you should know it's really a hard job to know what exactly a classic poem it was. Basically, we only know something in the very very shallow surface,、uh, and、uh, we have no idea who are the poet who. What is the history background? Why he wrote this poem? Normally, there is some of the very very serious things happened,、uh, thus move the poet was touched and moved, and thus he wrote something、uh, as a poem, right? And、uh, we also know from the history book *Chun Qiu Zuo Zhuan* that there are many. Poems wrote in that time, but anyhow, very few was left and kept in the Book of Songs. So the poems we read today in the Book of Songs is only a very small portion、uh, of what the ancient Chinese has had written. Okay, let's see this. Go through this very simple poem first. Now the first paragraph: Qing Ren Zai Peng, Si Jia Pang Pang, the army of the Qing County. They stayed at the place of Peng, and their chariot was with full armor, and the sound was Pang Pang. So the double word "pang pang" is the sound simulation word to the sound of the chariot.、Uh, be careful. Si jia si means four horses. Jie is a long word of jia, which means the armor. So this is a heavy chariot. The horses was、uh, with armor. Si jia is a New invented word for chariot. Before it was always described as simu, the four horses, and here it was described as the four armored horses. So we can see that the wording in the classic poetry was always involved、uh, and uh, improving uh, over time. Okay, the next sentence. 二毛重鹰，和尚呼翱翔
with two weapons at hand, and the weapon was with feather. Ying is the feather of the bird. The chariot was flying like flying over the river.、Uh, be careful whenever you saw the term he. Today we think we take it as a river, but in the classic literature, it was always referring to the Yellow River. So we know where exactly they are practicing their military skill is. So they are the people from the Qing County, and、uh, they located at the place of、uh, Peng and.、Uh, Near the riverside of the Yellow River, so we know exactly what they are doing. So it's a、uh, troops they stationed at the Peng County, and、uh, they are practicing their、uh, military skills with gesture, with power, like a eagle flying over the broad, big river of. Yellow River, so it's like a praising those brave, those strong、uh, soldiers and this brave army. The second paragraph basically is、uh, almost identical, but the place changed.、Uh, they changed the, their place of stationer. Qing people in Xiao, the world is flying. The Army of Qing County, they stationed at Xiao County now, and their chariot was so powerful and bravely. Biao Biao is used to describe the status of the chariot is so powerful and so brave. Okay, the next sentence. 二毛重桥，和尚乎逍遥。With two weapons at hand, and the feather was on the weapon flying, they just like the birds flying over the Yellow River. So we know the Xiao County is also、uh, aside the Yellow River. So they are basically they are along the Yellow River. So let's look at the picture. So. In that time, on a chariot, there are three people. One is the driver in the center, and at the left of the driver was the、uh, archery, and the, on the right side of the driver was the soldier with the weapon. So there are five kinds of weapons. Normally, in and in this particular poem, the soldier have. Two weapons, which was so called Mao,、uh, two type of Mao, at hand, and at the top of that weapon, there are feathers wrapped on the top. You can see the feathers from this picture, and、uh, the Chao particular referring that the feather was stick、uh, sticking upward.、Uh, To the far side, so you can see the three pairs of feather at the top of the weapon. Chong Chao means double feathers. It describes the the very vivid picture. The soldiers are practicing their military skills、uh, at the riverside, bravely, powerfully. Okay, the third paragraph. 清人在轴，四界陶陶，左旋右抽，中军做好。So there's a little bit different in the third paragraph. The army of the Qing County they moved to the Zhou State. Zhou is a place that,、uh, name. So they they are moving along the river all the time. They Chariot out was so powerful, and they are circling. Tao Tao means the chariot was circling. Tao is means the 
proceedings. When so when you make the proceedings, the you turn over circle the proceeding, uh, and then burn it in the stove. Right, tao tao means the the circling, and uh, the last two pair of sentences actually、uh, confuse a lot of people、uh, through the history. And、uh, thanks for a very nice book. You can see the this is a book. It、uh, interpreted what is so called 左旋右抽 So this described the real. Uh, status when two chariot was battling, so they first they rush forward and then they turn to the left. So the soldier with the weapon on the right side of the chariot, he swing his weapon and、uh, stick or swing、uh, swap the his enemy like in this picture. So. That means 左旋右手。左旋 means the chair out turns to the left, and 右抽 means the soldier on the right side in the chair out. He swing his weapon, and the last sentence is very meaningful. 中军坐好 The center troop was finally made up. So what does it mean? So the whole poem means how to form and how to exercise an army, because in that time there is no professional troops, no professional soldiers. So at the normal time, they are all the citizens, the people in the in the town, in the suburb, in the countryside. So when the There's a war. They need to、uh, form their army first and、uh, fetch the weapon from the ancestors' temples, and then they went to these three places: the Peng County, the、uh, Xiao County, the Zhou County. They need to practice their military skills,、uh, and at the same time, they need. To organize all the farmers, the workers,、uh, to a unified, a real troop with divisions, right? And、uh, so the first,、uh, the all the third paragraph basically is describing how they practice their military skills, the drills, and the, the last sentence, 中军做好 Uh, made a conclusion. Though not only they have、uh, finished the, all the exercise, the drills, and also they form the divisions, the army nicely. So it's a real army.、Uh, finally, they can、uh, since since now they can go to the battlefield to、uh, to combat to、uh, with other. Uh, troops with their enemies. So this is all the this poem is about. So basically, it's a quite a simple poem, and uh, uh, on surface, it's nothing. It's basically、uh, describe their pride, the powerful army. Suppose you and me、uh, were the citizens of the Zheng State in that time. When we read this poem, or when we see the troops. We should feel so proud of our army has the best、uh, weapons, the best chariots, and they have the best exercise drills、uh, with the best、uh, skills, and、uh, they are well organized. Finally, so this is a very powerful troop. They can protect us from any、uh, threat. Now let's review the history background from the Chun Qiu Zuo Zhuan, and、uh, then we cross-check、uh, the history background with the poetry we have gone through. Zheng Ren e Gao Ke, Shi Shuai Shi Cu Yu He Shang. The people of Zheng they hate 
Gao Ke. Gao Ke is the general of these troops. So they hate this person and、uh, let him be the general. And、uh, they stationed at the riverside of Yellow River. 是率师赐予和尚 Let him be the、uh, general. 久而复朝 So. Zheng people let this general and the army、uh, stayed there for too long and、uh, never gave their message and、uh, neither called them back. So this is a big problem. I will tell you why. 久而复朝，失溃而归。Though the but finally the army collapsed and the soldiers. Uh, get back to their home from the stationed place from the riverside, right? So why the army collapsed? So just we have shared there is no professional soldiers in that time. So basically, they are the farmers, they are the workers. So the war always. Happened in the winter time, after the autumn,、uh, during the winter time, because the spring, the summer, the autumn is the time for the farmer in the field. So when the spring comes, either the Lord of Zheng should send another、uh, order and uh, uh, supplies to ask them. To continue to stay there, or let them come back to their home. So in this story, the where apparently the Lord of Zheng、uh, didn't tell the general anything, neither send him the supplies. So with no food, with no order, of course the army collapsed. So the result is Gao Ke. 奔尘，正人谓之负轻人。So the general, uh, rushed to another state, Chen State. So he ran away. Why? Because he has committed a big guilty. As a general, he didn't managed his army well. No matter what the re- root reason is, he has a big guilty. So that's why he ran away from his home state. And、uh, finally, this is a big deal, right? So every people in the Zhang state know it, and、uh, so they write this poem. So first thing first, who wrote this poem? Of course, not the Lord of Zheng State. So we can see in this story, the first Zheng Ren is different from the last Zheng Ren. Zheng Ren E Gao Ke. So the first Zheng Ren very likely referring to the Lord of the State, and the, the people or the person who wrote this poem is some other people, not the Lord of the Zheng State. But why they wrote this poem, and、uh, this poem looks so positive, like a praising poem, a praising to the general, of course. Actually, I have no idea, but、uh, we can feel some of the conflicts from this poem that the general was hated by the. Lord of the state, but on the other hand, the general was、uh, adored by the his soldier by the、uh, public. That's my wild guess. There could be other explanations or the real facts, maybe far beyond our、uh, guess. Uh, but anyhow, you can see that when we're reading the poems, if we don't know the poet, if we don't know the real background, 
it's really hard for us to know what exactly this poem is about, right? Okay, that's for today. Bye bye.